all right guys here we go been a while since i've done a video on uh, one of these and uh this is probably well i shouldn't say probably uh definitely the uh nicest one i've ever uh i've ever owned it's the uh pride dx 300 if you don't know about these amps it does run a single steel tube uh, they came factory with a uh, 4CX250B and uh, you can look up a very detailed manual of these online gives you lots of good information about them uh, they're a tetrode and a tetrode uh, tubes uh, generally low drive so single final radio uh, low power tube type radio something like that perfect for this uh, I think this one is set up for 10 to 11 watts average 10 to 10 and a half watts average uh, peak power you know 35 40 watts peak going in will be fine um, less power you know you'll see a little bit less output but should still do a good job um, again it came with a 4cx 250b this one has uh, all the upgraded boards available from a nomad radio i believe they're about 200 uh, just for the boards um, if you were to buy the boards individually and put them in and this one also has a uh, 4CX350 tube in it. So a little bit more power than the 250B. Uh, these were rated at a 650 watts PEP from the, uh, from the factory. Now there's a multitude of tubes you can run in here and see different output power. Uh, the 350 is one of them. Uh, you can run a 4CX400 in this one, uh, especially since it's had the upgrades done, and a uh, 8930. <clears throat> and I like a 8930. This one has a 4CX350 in it, but you could run a 400 in it. Could run an 8930 in it. See a little bit more output power, um, but it's it's doing a real good job right now. You can see somebody pre-marked the uh, tune, the positions here. That's really about the only marks on it. That could probably be wiped off and removed with a little bit of elbow grease, but uh, that's where we've got it tuned out at to those marks and. When I tuned it, I just tuned it for peak output, and it just so happened to line up right there. So features of the amp, obviously you've got a band selector, which is still intact. Uh, two tuners for uh, tuning the output. Again, just tune it with peak. These things are real tight on tuning them. You'll see the screen light will pop up and, and, and uh, shine kind of bright when it's in tune. I'll show you an example real quick. Hello, 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 audio. So that just indicates that it's in tune. Uh, every function does work on it. Now, when I first turned it on, uh, the receive amp didn't seem to be working, but it is actually working now. So the preamp works, sideband delay works, uh, everything works on it. Um, where was I at? So yeah, power on and off. Uh, receive amp on and off now the amplifier has to be in either high or low position for you to uh, for the receive amp to work so it won't work with the amp in standby and of course the sideband delay works now running a sideband radio you'd want to be careful because some radios do a lot more power on sideband uh, than what they do on AM so you it would be easy to overdrive this thing if you weren't careful on sideband but it will take a look at the top of it uh, the blower is nice and quiet on this one sometimes these things get noisy blowers in them uh, but this one's nice and quiet uh, paint is in really good shape on the cabinet uh, transformers look brand new I don't know if this if there's brand new transformers in this thing or not but they look brand new now this is a very well kept amp uh, and you've got a bias control here on the back. Now, we're going to start out. It's I've tuned it up with the bias control all the way down. That's how I tuned it. If you want to see more average power, a little bit more output power, you can actually adjust this bias control, and it will change the output some. And I'll demonstrate that uh, later in the video. But a new power cord on it. Nice heavy-duty power cord. Um, just a super nice amp. And uh, I've got a fella interested in this. I thought about keeping it for myself because I really do like these a lot. Um, I, I really like them, especially one with this kind of condition. 
uh, in this kind of condition, I may never find another one uh, this nice with all the upgrades and everything like that done to it. So what are they worth? Well, I believe I've priced this one under market value. Um, I saw two of them on eBay, sold listings, not asking prices, but actually sold listings, excuse me, that looked like they were factory. They were in good shape, but they looked factory, and they brought around $1,200 each. Highly sought after amp. Uh, people like to use them as standalone amps, and uh, people like to use them as drivers too. So they're, they're very popular and they are, they are hard to find in good shape. A lot of them have been overdriven, um, worn out, you know, people have done whatever to them, uh, but it's hard to find one that's in really nice shape, functionality wise and uh, cosmetic wise. Okay, so that's just the overview of the amp. We'll get into testing it here. The first thing I wanna do is turn the preamp on and show you that it works. So we do have the amp in a operate mode, it's in high, and we're gonna come over here, turn our volume up on the radio. The preamp is off, and we're gonna key up our, our uh, monitor radio in the background. So a little bit over nine pounds. We're gonna turn the preamp on. 30 dB. So that shows us that the preamp is working. And we'll turn that off sideband delay. I don't have a sideband radio hooked up, but we will be able to know the delay is working. Hello? 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 Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? By the way, the meter on the front of this thing, uh, pretty accurate with output. If you didn't have a watt meter, you could almost tune the amp with this uh, meter on the front. So, sideband delay works. We're going to go ahead and go to AM mode, and uh, what I'm going to do is uh, come over here to the watt meter. A radio, I would guesstimate around two watts going in right now. Um, we'll go ahead and key it up. We've got a thousand watt slug in here. Amp's kind of in the way. Let's see here if I can get a better angle. There we go. A uh, thousand watt slug. We're going to start out on average power. The bias is turned all the way down. Put a little more dead key in it. Hello. Audio. 300 watts average. Hello radio, hello radio. And we just modulate into it and uh, still holds good average power just talking. Hello. 300 on audio now again this is with the bias control turned all the way down so with that all the way down it takes a little more dead key to make it get up and go we turn the bias control up you'll see the average power come up see the dead key come up some now we're going to put it on peak hello about 900 PEP on the dot. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, back the dead key down just a little bit here. Come over here and we'll turn this up some. Matter of fact, let's just turn it on up. I probably wouldn't run it that high on AM. Uh, I'd probably run it all the way down and just kind of let it cruise. But for the sake of the video, Let's see if the average power comes up the way that I figure it will. Okay. We already see our dead key came up a lot and we're running less dead key into it. I just wanted to bump it real quick and see. So we saw the dead key was over 100 watts and I'm actually running less dead key into it. So when you have the bias control turned up, it takes less drive. So let's turn dead key all the way down. Let's do just enough to key the amp. See, now the minimum that the amp will key now with the bias control all the way up is 100 watts. I figure we're going to see a good bit more average power out of it. Oh, 
Oh yeah, 400 watts average. I don't know if PEP changed. I would probably retune it right there if I want to run it all the way up and then the peak power would change. I don't know if the peak is going to change right here. Let's see. Hello, audio, 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 audio. Peak power stayed the same, but as you can see, our average power came up considerably. Again, hello, over 400 average. Now what I want to do is turn the amp to the low position, so standby being in the middle, we'll go to low. This is average power on low with the bias control wide open. Hello, 200 watts, just shy, and now we're on peak. Hello, audio, audio, audio. 500 watts PEP. Now, final thing I'm gonna do is go to low power, turn this control all the way down, show you what it does on low. Okay, this is low power, still on peak, bias control all the way down. Hello, just shy of 400 watts. And now this is average power, bias control all the way down, uh, average power. Hello, 100 watts average. Hello, audio, audio. So there you have it, folks. That's the uh, Pride DX300. I uh, feel like that's a pretty thorough test on this guy. Again, super nice. A um, friend of mine hit me up on it, kind of interested in it. Uh, said he'd been looking for one. And uh, I don't think you'll find one nicer than this one myself. Um, so it is probably pending sold. Um, if it does not sell, I will uh, put a comment on here and, and state that it's available. But... Uh, I think it's going to be everything he's looking for. Again, if you wanted to just tune it with the front of the, the front of the amp. Hello. What would we show? 900 watts PEP, uh, and it's showing 900 to 1,000 on the front of the amp. Uh, one last thing: my line voltage right now uh, that this thing is running on is 117 volts. This is this amp runs off 110. 110 120 but my actual line voltage is 117 volts that being said uh, if you have a home where the line voltage is higher if you got 120 volts 122 volts that can be the difference in two or three hundred watts on this amp so a lot of times the, the numbers I show on 110 amps here uh, they'll do more at someone else's house um, so this pride doing 900 here you know, whatever it was doing, yeah, 900 watts or so. Get it home and it does 1,100 watts. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Um, because, again, 117 volts versus, you know, 120 or whatever. But uh, that's it. Uh, super nice. Super, super nice amp. Really like it there. Been a while since I've had one. And I have never owned one uh, this nice. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Rooster in Tennessee, questions, comments, complaints, let me know. This is the uh, Pride DX300. Uh, all the work that was done on it, the upgrades and everything else, uh, credit to Joe the Grinder, uh, my good friend that does a lot of my amp stuff, just about all my amp stuff, um, tube amp stuff. So uh, shout out to, to JTG for, for doing a bang up job on this Pride. Catch you guys out there. Rooster in Tennessee, see you bye.